Hello there everybody, how are you doing today? I'm going to be talking about why are they ignoring you? <laughs> oh dear, I can feel already, I can feel already. This is gonna, there's gonna be some interesting stuff here, okay? Um, no matter what, okay, no matter what, I will just say here, um, they are missing out, all right? So if they are ignoring you, they are missing out, okay? <clears throat> so let's run through the options. We have here pile number one, uh, which is the uh, Egyptian tarot uh, with uh, this crystal here. I think it's green adventuring then we have uh the secrets of the tarot with smoky quartz <clears throat> then we have the witch's tarot with goldstone okay Take a minute, pause the video if you need to. While you're there, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. It really does help me out. Okay, here we go. Let's go for the first pile, which is Egyptian Tarot Green Adventuring. Right, okay, so. Oh, okay. Sorry, uh, straight away I got this idea that, you know, um, you do like to take on people that you think you can heal. This is somebody here, you can see what their, um, what issues they have, that they need healing. Um, and because you're so empathic and so nurturing and so loving, you definitely, you know, you, you're always wanting what's best for them. You're trying to help them out and it feels like they just, they just ignore, they just throw it back in your face. They don't want the help. They don't want to have the practicality of, uh, you know, the solutions you're offering, even the support. So it's like they just reject it. Right, let's see what else we have here. Uh, I would say here as well, when someone is being like that, if they're just kind of pushing you away, um, every time you say, oh, that's terrible, let me let me help you with that. Um, it's because they know it's not so, like really for them, they feel like it's not so terrible. It could also be like that they are really, they're, they're exaggerating how bad things are. Um, people, there are people, genuine people out there that really do not like accepting help. But when they're in dire straits, they certainly kind of, they have to concede that they need some support. What tends to happen is the person that's shouting the loudest, please help me, I need support, I need this, I need somebody that's going to love me, honestly, who's not going to cheat on me and, and all the rest. When you have somebody like that and then you, you give that to them, you give them exactly what they're asking for, and they still push you away, that is a narcissist, okay? That is the, that is a narcissist. Like the, the drama actually identifies them. That's how they know who they are. That's their self-representation, their self-visualization. If you take that away from them by helping them, uh, you as the empath, you love that, you're there to support them um, and help them. You're doing the right thing. You, but you're taking away their identity, the thing that matters to them most, the thing that makes them special. They're special because they have people running around after them. Oh, let me do this, let me do that. That's how they get attention. Oh, right. So we have Ace of Swords here. So we have Transformation. And we have Truth. <laughs> I just realised... As I was talking there, and then we get the, the truth cards come out, and we have a breakthrough. So for some of you, maybe it was a little bit of a aha. Uh -huh. So I was kind of like, you know, they're being a bit narcissistic. Um, I was wondering what that was about. I was wondering why they weren't getting any, uh, why they didn't want my help. Yeah, strength card. Yeah. You have that inner strength. You can get through this, but I can hear you say, but why did they do this? Why did they do this? It's not about you, 
who you are as a person. This is just what they do, what they are like. Um, and unfortunately, you know, people are like this in the world. We have to accept that not everybody is good and means well. Um, there are an awful lot of people out there who are uh, just awful. <laughs> so <laughs> this is not personal to you, the way that they've treated you, the way that they have behaved here. Yes, I, I just want to say here, someone is asking, uh, they led me a, a, they led me up the garden path. Yes, yes, they did. This is someone who is definitely, um, they're focusing on themselves. They are really not thinking how this impacts you, how it influences you, what, what kind of, you know, basically how, how horrible they're being. They don't realize it. They don't see that. Knight of Wands, yeah, player energy. Absolutely. Absolutely. This is a player. So they're all about the fun. They're all about the self um, gratification. So if they are getting a lot out of the connection um, and it's good for them, they will be there. As soon as you are asking them for something, um, whether it be their time, whether it be, you know, can we go out for a date, whatever you're asking them for, they will disappear because suddenly they have to take on some sort of responsibility. It sounds really, really childish, you know, you know, very childish. Oh, it frustrates me, you know, um, because narcissists, I think they are... Sometimes people do have medical issues, uh, which doesn't allow them to feel emotions or feel empathy. But narcissists generally, they are created. They are created by their environment, by their parents. So if someone's told you about how terrible their childhood is or was, chances are they would have a little bit of that narcissism in there, if not full-blown narcissism. Usually this is kids that have come from a very troubled background. And the reason that they behave this way is because it's self-preservation. So, yeah, you can feel sorry for them all you want, but they have more time as an adult than they do as a child. They realize their behavior. They can try and adjust it. They can learn. They can grow. All right. I don't buy it that their, their brains are wired differently. Our brains all get wired differently because our brains are growing and I think they have done studies to show that you can create new neurons, new pathways in the brain um, because you learn behaviors, you learn how to be different, you learn um, new things every single day. Um, so they have that ability. All right, so we do have here your intuition. You need to trust your intuition about this individual. Oh, sorry, they want me to look at the next card. Why is that, please? The Knave of Swords, the Page of Swords. They are keeping an eye on you, though. They are watching you. So they may be quiet. They may be, like, silently watching. Um, but they are there. Sorry, they want the next card as well. I don't know why I say sorry. <laughs> we have um, the Six of Cups here. So we have... They definitely, uh, this is someone you know, this is a return of the past. They could well be coming back here. Um, let's see if we've got a timeline. Oh, Magician. I'm seeing the Magician a lot at the minute. The last couple of days, he's been coming out a lot. This is definitely, you know, you they, they, <laughs> they're going to try and make something happen. You could also be trying to manifest this person. You could be at that point here. You just want to hear from the horse's mouth, you know, you, you're not going to take it from somebody like me, you want to hear it from them, just understand, they will never admit it, they just, um, they just won't, <laughs> but what they will do, is they will give you all of those signs and clues and hints that, you know, as to who they are as a person, what they're all about, and what their intentions are towards you. Oh, the Page of Pentacles as well. Yeah, slowly, slowly. They come when they're good and ready. When they are good and ready. What else can Pile 1 expect from this person, please? Judgment, yeah. We've got a completion here with this one. So the judgment is like deciding things fairly, no matter 
what's uh you know how you feel about it it's all about being objective so if a situation has to come to a close then it will come to a close in a fair manner in maybe a, a legal manner not necessarily a moral manner or a um you know a, an emotional uh fairness manner so we do have this very sort of harsh independent energy something is going to be outside of your control it's going to cause this uh, situation uh, to come to a conclusion. Six of Wands, yeah, you're getting some good news, positive news here, fantastic. It could well be from this person, but I feel like it's from outside, it's not from that person. Five of Cups, oh my gosh, yeah, this is disappointment. I can feel here with you, you really don't want this person to be the person that they are. You're really hoping and hoping and hoping they are somebody different. They are somebody better than what everybody has been telling you. That, you know, they've just had some issues or difficulties that's uh, laid their circumstances. Yeah, temperance energy. So it's not just about temperance, uh, being patient. It's about divine timing. This is like, this was meant to happen this way. You were supposed to have this lesson. Nine of cups. Yeah, so it's being happy on your own. It is a wish fulfillment card as well. But it's realizing that you have a lot of good things going for you. You do not need anybody else um, to come in and cause you chaos and disruption and bring you all this bad kind of energy here. We have the lovers. So we have a soulmate um, on the horizon for you. I don't think it's this person. I really don't think it's this person. I think it is somebody new. Yeah, Ten of Wands energy. Look at that. So we do have Sagittarius showing up on the cards there. Um, this person could well be Sagittarius, but let's just go through the signs that we've had come out here. So we have Gemini, um, we have Libra, we have air signs, we have Leo, we have Scorpio. We've got kind of a lot of signs. There's too many signs. There's so many signs here. So <laughs> I will leave that with you, my loves. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you want to hang around for any of the other piles, please feel free. <clears throat> okay, let's move on to pile number two. If you chose the smoky quartz, hello, welcome. It looks kind of like glass, doesn't it? It doesn't look like it's a real crystal but it is i imagine that actually a lot of the times um smoky quartz is manufactured they literally like put it in smoke <laughs> um to get that look to it but i think you know if you can get a natural one um it'd be wonderful wonderful energy so Oh, pile two. Let's have a look at your person. Why are they not talking to you? What is going on with pile two's person, please? Thank you. Oh, so did you did you just meet recently over the summer? Let's see what we have. We've got distractions. A lot of distractions, I feel. It's like my brain can't quite process everything all at once. So this is a person here, they may have some sort of, uh, you know, problems with concentration. I'm Obviously, I can't diagnose anybody, um, but I mean, we talk about narcissists all the time, and that's the diagnosis. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm thinking maybe something like ADHD here, because I feel like this is someone who easily gets um, distracted. They kind of, like right now, I can see someone walking their dog outside, and I'm more interested in that. So I do think this... This person, they're not talking to you because they, they could be off on an adventure, you know. <laughs> we do have here Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so they could be as well with this one. Very much focusing on their finances, on their money. So if you're new, you've just met, you're kind of you're dating, you're going through that phase here. They are very conscious about spending at the moment. Um Mm, this person as well, or oh, I don't know if this is you or this person, but I'm seeing a loan for a laptop. Um, okay. I also want to talk about <laughs> the kitchen. <laughs> I 
It's like the kitchen looks like it could do with some um, modernization or updating. But for you, there's something very comforting about um, all the wood there. It's a lot of wood there. I want to say very 1970s sort of look so it would look very retro and very sort of gorgeous um to to people now that really love the 70s um but for you it's like very homely it sort of reminds you of somebody else's house could be grandmother's house could be mother's house um and but i feel like this is your person's space or place here um here we go let's see <laughs> sorry it just made me chuckle there because i could um I could see a guinea pig, this cute little guinea pig here. So I don't know where that fits in, if that resonates with you. But again, it's like this distraction. I'm constantly getting distracted here at this reading. So I think this is going to be what is getting in the way here, what's causing the problem. Um, I don't want to make excuses for anybody, but I just kind of, I need to just make you aware of that. Um, so it's not like a busy, busy, I've got to get this done, I've got to get that done. I'm thinking about all the things, you know, and having a plan and a list and then doing stuff and ticking things like This is a very sort of, oh, 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 something shiny. Off we go. Again, we've got another card here focusing on finances. Money it might not be the best time financially for your person. Um, they could be finding it difficult to... Uh, pay something back for example or they could literally be like hanging what waiting and waiting for money there like payday like they need that payday but I feel like it's already spent before the money comes in um, we do have action they are coming towards you very very soon it's like they haven't disappeared they haven't gone too far away I've, uh, it's weird because they don't feel like they're stressed but when they think about it you can feel that they're a little bit like Sometimes it's worries, sometimes it's, oh, I just need to do this. Oh, let me do that first. Oh, I better take care of this. So if they get easily distracted, um, you know, when it comes to managing their finances, I feel like they, they may need somebody to just say, right, make sure you do these bits first. Do those now, because um, those are the important ones. And then anything you've got left, um, I feel like they, it's it's like it's gone, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone. They've already decided what the money's going on. Here we go. Yeah, improvements are underway. So things will get better. Things are definitely going to get better here in this situation. Oh my gosh, let me just have a look at what that is. Three of Swords. Why do we have the Three of Swords, please? Oh, sorry, they want this card. Money losses, yeah. So I feel like this is actually your person. They feel really sort of like, oh my gosh. Like this is starting to really be like an up and down, up and down for them with regards to their money. I'm not saying you should help them out or anything like that. I think the, the best help that someone can give a person like this is practical. It's like not just throwing money at them because that would be the worst thing you could do. What you need to do is be a bit more like, well, okay, let's sit down and work out um, not where you went wrong, but how we're going to make it better and make a plan and then make sure they stick to the plan. That would be the best sort of support that you can give here to this individual. They feel like they've lost something. Have they lost their job? Let me just ask. Let me just see. Some of them may have uh, just got just lost their job maybe been made redundant uh, let's see they've definitely lost something ah they could be pining over a person their family um this is somebody that's uh you know a little bit more mature definitely they have issues to do with their family um you know there has been a loss there um, they, they could, you know, yeah, either they don't get to see their children or, but they, yeah, they're being asked to pay for it. Do you know what I mean? It's like a whole sort of, um, can of worms here. So, oh, yeah, there's a lot to unpick here. Thank you. Yeah. But I feel like with you here is really, really, it's un, look, undecided energy. So I think what they're doing, it's like they, you can see them maturing just over the space of a few days where they're going from, oh, oh, shiny and oh, look at this and oh, look at that to, oh my gosh, the reality has hit me here. This is what I'm upset about. This is what I'm, you know, really um, struggling with. 
and then now um, I don't know what to do. So it's very undecided energy. But you can see in their thoughts there, they sort of go back and forth, back and forth uh, between their situation and, and yourself. Yeah, delays around money coming in from the cold. Look at that. It actually says that on the card. I don't know if it's going to show up there, but yeah, delays around money. They definitely have a lot of uh, money issues, money worries. Like they... Like if you wanted to see them more often during the week, uh, they definitely, they would struggle with that. Because although you may say, well, you know, we can just hang out, you know, we don't have to go out on a date. Um, they may struggle to just do that, you know, come to where you are, for example. Yeah, look, on the bottom of the deck, we have Page of Cups which is all about, you know, it's that social energy, being social. I think sometimes when somebody's being quite low, um, on the verge of depression here, and it could be like jumping in and out of depression, a bit of a mild um, uh, energy there, they do not want to socialise. That is what true depression is. They really, they can't push themselves to do it. They can't uh, talk themselves into it. It's quite a disheartening sort of vibe here. We've got the world here as well. It's like they are carrying the world on their shoulders. But again, it's like money. Um, <laughs> things will be turning around for them. They're about to be in um, for a change in their luck. But I'd say at the moment, it's like they just kind of, oh, I'll try this, I'll try this, I'll try that. And I've, I'm doing this. And I think that's why it's so disheartening often because when you put, all of your attention towards something you think you'll do this is the best this is the most i can give energetically mindfully you know this is everything i'm throwing everything at this and i'm not getting anything back that's that it puts you off it stops you it demotivates you and i think that's what what they're at here they could yeah i think they could well have lost their job or they're just not getting paid or they're not getting paid the full amount every uh, every week or every month and it's so disruptive and so disheartening they do you do have here some good fortune coming your way or good news i should say it's sort of a win so i need to just give you that we do have yeah this person see they come through as this king energy king of wands um i think maybe this is why it's kind of embarrassing for them to have to admit that they have issues here that they've kind of let themselves down, that they've let other people down. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a little bit like, oh. they worry a lot here about how people see them. And they want to be seen as this very successful, vibrant, you know, um, uh, um, uh, abundant energy. So they put a lot of effort into making sure that's how people see them. So when they don't have as much um, to keep them going, as much money, as much wealth there, um, and they're having, they're sort of facing, do I get rid of stuff? What, like, you know, that, that to them is like absolutely destructive. To have to sell something, <laughs> absolutely terrible, you know. Uh, but at the end of the day, we've got to do what we've got to do to keep our heads above water, haven't we? But I think that's what they're doing here. They're very embarrassed about how they are at the moment, how their life is uh, going, and they don't really want to burden anybody else with that. So um, I think their communication here is sort of gonna dip in and out. Um, so you'll hear from them and then not hear from them. When you're hearing from them is when they have some spare money or when they want to make sure that you're still there or you're still interested, because in their minds, they're exposed, you know? They're completely open. You, on the other hand, have no idea what is this all about here. So, um, part number two, I will leave that with you. Thank you so much for watching. And um, if you want to hang around for pile three, you are more than welcome. All right, here we go. Pile number three. If you chose this bloodstone or bloodstone, goldstone. Why did I say bloodstone? What's that, please? Ah, <laughs> um, 
that's very interesting now there's a couple of messages that come through with that one the bloodstone is associated with the sign of aries um so we could be you could be an aries you could be dealing with a person so just here this is part number three person why are they not communicating what's going on with them that's too many cards we don't want that many cards please spirit we want some um, you want a sensible amount <laughs> And see what I mean? They blurt stuff out all the time. Then they just tell you everything at once and then you have to work out what it is exactly they're trying to say. So why is that person not speaking? Oh my gosh, it's not what I was expecting because we have quite lovely uplifting cards here, quite sort of happy cards. Now, I feel like this is your person's energy. So they do seem like in a good mood. What we have, though, that jumps out is this Knight of Cups. It's a very shy energy. So although, like, you can see, you make them very happy. You're like this wish fulfillment. They can see a future with you. They can see a lot of um, good times with you, a lot of abundance, um, fun times. A lot, like, it's very, very nice. Um, yeah, the world, though, the world. <laughs> Just asking why they have that here yeah so i mean this is obviously about cycles completing but i don't know if your person's at a distance from you um that's what we have here this person you know it's like it's not easy for them to be available to be around um you know and present <laughs> like physically physically there physically present you Mm, I'm just going to double check this actually because the Queen of Wands energy it's it's a very sort of um I mean it's very attractive very passionate energy so I'm just trying to clarify here if this is you or if this is um somebody else uh it could be somebody else hmm Let's see. I feel like I need to dig into this person here a little bit deeper because it's uh they're very social. It's like there's layers to them. You can see that here. There's what you see with them is not necessarily what you get. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, sort of, we're uncovering another side to them here for sure. So we do have somebody that's kind of they they work very hard um <laughs> at keeping a sort of a double double life going on but it could also be triple or quadruple i wonder if they talk to a lot of people from around the world and they see it as being kind of harmless and not really cheating um you know because you're not physically with that person you're not around them um and for them it's not emotional there is emotions there but it's not like they're completely falling in love with everyone you know that they're speaking to this is someone who's just like oh i think it's a bit of harmless fun we're just talking we're you know we're, we're never going to do anything we're never going to meet up um so i i yeah i i would say see definitely online so it could be instagram um that would be uh, the sort of the logical choice i always if someone says they don't have a social media account uh come on come on now my mum who is in her 70s has a in has a facebook account um people will have at least one type of social media account you know there will be people that they they may not use it but they will have one um especially if someone's quite happy to talk online with other people they may be saying they don't have a social media so you, you wouldn't even ask to look or check at their, their, their social media do you know what i mean that's what i mean they've got lots of layers here they keep things kind of um hidden they keep things to themselves we have yeah communication coming on through eight of wands as you can see though it's like it's coming from a distance i think they they talk to a lot of different people oh my gosh why am i looking at that upside down why did i do that please 
Ah, because they, my guys just said, because they don't want you to see. They don't want you to know. For this person, this is a lot of fantasy fulfillment. Um, I would, like, if you haven't met them, um, they are using other people's pictures. So they could have multiple accounts here with uh, different images and different, you know, they're not doing it under their own name. That's what I want to say. It's a catfish energy. Yeah, you're going to find out. You will find out. They feel like at the moment they are winning. Oh my gosh, for them, this is sort of like, um, instead of watching porn, <laughs> this is what they do. Do you know what I mean? It's very, yeah, see, it's all about the attraction. You can see that with the Queen of Wands also. They do feel like they know that maybe it's not normal. <laughs> um, but yeah, this this is someone who is a little kind of, uh, like they're definitely in their own world. They're not really in reality. So what they're doing, like the reality of their life, if they're connecting with someone in real life, you'd want to, like, hopefully, you'd be so emotionally like, yay, this is great. You want to shut down all the other communications. But what they're doing is they just, like, they want to go for the excitement, the fun, the fulfillment, sometimes the drama. You know, they want to go for the drama. That's what I'm getting. For some of you, I think you do know this person in real life. Um... You could know them as a friend, um, but online, you're talking to somebody completely different, but it's your friends. Very on off. Yeah, see here, you it's nine of cups. You've got to, you're on your own. It's like you're on your own now when it comes to dealing with this individual. Page of Pentacles, new offer. Oh my gosh. Where's that? Why is that one like that? Oh, okay. Offers withdrawn. Thank you. My guys are just saying, oh my gosh, today I'm being a little bit slow, aren't I? Um, yeah, walking away. This person is kind of, they, when things get a little bit too challenging and you're asking a lot of questions, they disappear. They walk away. They leave the situation. That's what we get in here. Oh my gosh. Pile number three. You'll be on like MTV's Catfish or something, you know? Um, <laughs> be very careful here. Do not trust this person, all right? Um, and um, let's look at some signs that we have here. So we've got water signs. We've got Libra. We do have um, fire energy. I mean, we've got a good mixture. We've got a little bit of earth there as well. But mostly I would say fire. Um, that Libra is jumping out as well. So... <coughs> I will leave that with you, my darlings. Um, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a blessed rest of the day. Sending you lots of love and light. And I will see you soon.